I've been thinking about this a lot. This, I mean, obviously, this is what you always intended to be as a player anyway, and you're getting an opportunity. But this must mean so much to you when the game was essentially taken away from you last year. Is that how you feel? Yeah, you know, I mean, obviously, last year was it was a very difficult year as it was. And, you know, I wanted to play. And, you know, obviously, I couldn't. So to get the opportunity that I'm getting right now and, uh, you know, to capitalize the way that I am right now really means a lot to me and, you know, a lot to my family as well. So, I mean, you, you got to heal from what happened, Clint, but you, you see this opportunity being missed. Did, did you begin to worry about your career, what your standing would be once you started to feel better? Uh, you know, I mean, obviously, I, I, I was more focused on just trying to get my life back together, mm -hmm. if that makes sense, you know, because my, my everyday life was hindered and... and just doing the simple things was really hard. So, you know, baseball was going to come second after that. And, you know, I think whenever things started to turn is whenever I started to realize that, you know, I got to compete against, compete against this injury. And whenever I started to do that, it was whenever I started to get more, you know, acclimated back in the baseball activities. And once I did that, man, I felt like I was, you know, you know going to be able to come to spring training and, you know, play the way that I wanted to. And, and obviously I didn't. So, you know, that, that was the, the frustrating part. But, you know, I'm glad that I was able to turn things around pretty shortly after. Not that you need me to make an excuse for you, but I'm wondering, uh, last year you're healing. I mean, like you said, you're trying to get your life in order. You go into spring training and you're trying to prove something, and you had not really swung a bat in anger against competition in a long time. So how much rust was there for you to shake off? Uh, you know, I think... I think I went into spring training thinking that there wouldn't be a lot of rust and then found out pretty quickly that there was. So, you know, it was definitely, it was frustrating, you know, because I had the expectations of wanting to go in there and prove what I could do. And, you know, I think maybe I put a little too much pressure on myself going in there to, to try to perform the way that I thought that I could, you know, coming off the injury that I had last year. But, you know, I'm over it now and, you know, I feel really good and the guys are making me feel very comfortable up here. So that's all I can ask for. Now, I know you don't root for guys to get hurt, Clint. That's just not your style. But the Hicks injury opened a door for you. So did you appreciate at the time the kind of opportunity that was going to present? Uh, I mean, you know, no one wants anyone to go down, especially a teammate. And, you know, obviously I wish that I was able to get caught up under uh, different circumstances. But, you know, things happen. And, you know, I'm just trying to make the most of, you know, the opportunity that I have. Because last year, man, I was I was dying to get out on the field. So, you know, it's there's, there's a reason there's 40 of us on the 40-man roster. So, you know, it just takes all of us to... You know, to go up there whenever someone goes down. So, you know, I've been waiting for this opportunity for a long time, and I'm just glad that, you know, I'm still here and able to try to capitalize on it. Talking with Clint Frazier of the Yankees here on the Michael K Show. The the home run on Saturday, Clint, that gave the Yankees the lead, the three-run shot. You know, those of us that don't play, I mean, we don't even realize what confidence means. So what did that home run mean to you? Because the next day, boom, you pound out four hits. Oh, that, that was big for me, you know, because I think... I still was kind of pressed in to try to just, you know, make my presence known that I was up there, you know, not the, not the little bloop single hits or just something that wasn't, you know, very meaningful to the game. So when I came in the, the first at bat and I had, you know, runners on, I think, I think that was another moment where I was trying to win the game with one swing and, you know, I went down on strike three and, you know, I had to, I had to really try to calm myself down that next at bat because I knew, I knew I was in the same situation and so when, once I got the hit, you know, I just, I felt uh, I felt the weight go off my shoulders, you know, because I just needed one I just needed one thing to go good for me so I could try to build off the momentum and then carry it over to the next day and you know, obviously the results were what they were, so then how am I not gonna be confident after that?